Yep. Oh. Oh. Yep. What's happening, guys? All right, we are parked up on the mainland. Took the boat out this morning. Winds had dropped. Grabbed a mate, and we shot straight out to the reef. Yeah, we we're chasing little black marlin. He bought all the gear for the black marlin. It's all new to me. But uh, no marlin, just uh, plenty of Spanish mackerel. And did a little top water, bit of jigging. Great day. So I'm learning more and more. I haven't really touched on fishing since I was a teenager. I loved it when I was a teenager. You know, life gets busy, and uh, I've actually found a newfound passion for it over the year, over the last year. And it's just been great. I took a piece off the mackerel. We're going to have a little cook up behind me. I'll get onto some little mackerel burgers for the girls. And then I'll jump in the boat and um, do a little tour on how me and the girls have been living over the last three months uh, on the road. Whether that be on, on, the, on the boat in the water, tied up to a dock or in a caravan park. We didn't really have a plan. We just hit the road from Brucey Head North and just worked it out on the way. We all had a great time. Julie was with us, you know, the first sort of month. And then uh, she came back to Bri She went back to Brizzy. And then uh, she's joined us about a week ago, which has been great. So she's seen the reef. Yeah, it's been amazing. So I'll run that footage now of this morning. I'll see you back here for a little cook up and then a little boat tour. So we'll catch you very soon. We got action. We do. There he is, Mr. Spanish Mackerel. Ooh, look at the line. Loves taking line. Right, fine. Hey, good Spanish Mackerel. Look at that. Very good. Beautiful. Getting longer. Yep. Oh. Took it on the drop. Oh. Yep. Still got those head shakes. Oh. You right? Sweet. Far out. Big red bass. Oh, it looks solid coming out. Trout? I don't know. Red bass? I don't know, yeah, maybe. Red bass. It's good though. Let's do it, Sienna. A little bit of butter. A few green ants getting around. Oh, yeah. You can eat those green ants, Sienna. Garlic. Give it awesome. some mackerel. Dad, is that old? Yes, no. Won't take long at all. Mm. 
như dân hữu All right, let's make them up. Fish. Some cheese. Hey, cucumber. Tomato. Bit of avocado. Salt. Pepper. Ooh, too much. Holy, and that's lunch. There you go, fresh mackerel burger. So we'll get stuck into it and we'll do that boat tour soon. How is it, Sierra? Mm. Really good. All right, let's check out this boat. It's a 6.3 metre uh, shelf runner built by Sailfish in 2014. It runs on twin 90 Hondas, VTEC four strokes. And uh, yeah, it certainly doesn't lack any power. Um, pops out of the water nicely. Not the fastest boat in the world, but we like to cruise anyway, so suits us. And um, yeah, it's had one owner and he's looked after it immaculately. Thank you, Ian. Great bloke and uh, thanks for looking after me again. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll jump up the back transom here and have a look inside. All right, in we can get. Okay, let's start at the back here. We have the chopping board. We've got the, um, the light bait tank here. The house house battery house battery in here, and we've got our 10 litre water drums. We've got three of them in here, and we just did a change of those over here. There, that just so we have um, we can have fresh, clean showers. And just fresh, fresh water throughout the through the hose here. It usually would be connected to salt water, but um, I've just temporarily put into our 10 litre drums. There's our second battery. We have our snorkel gear always sitting on the left here, and uh, we have our spare anchor ropes with our gaff and our um, hooker there. Some fenders, net, centers the life jacket there. Spare life jackets untucked under here. The other side we have our tarp and fly screen. Uh, just the tarp when um, yeah, there's a bit more rain coming through and the hard top doesn't protect it. Pop in here under this back seat. Got all the cookers, barbecue here, the cooker I was just using, all our pots and pans. And we, we can also fit two 20 litre um, cherry cans up, up the front, sort of up under there. If we uh, travel long distance, full of fuel. Haven't had to do that yet. Other side, under the other seat, Another two 20 litre water drums that we fill up, um, just as extra water. Our plates, our cutlery, cups, um, bowls, just the stuff you want to grab real quick. And in the centre here we have our, our main esky. Um, we use it for a lot of a dry food usually because whatever we catch we try and cook up that day and that morning. It's empty now because we've been fishing we've been fishing a lot lately so we've been just chucking ice and putting those fish in. Um, the, it's got a backrest that just pivots each way so you can tip that side and fish or this side so that works well still not still not 100 sure what i'm going to do with that whether we're going to leave the esky in it takes up a lot of space up in the back here so we're just not sure on that one move up into the cockpit um all the running lights here just standard gauges standard garmin that came with the boat built with the boat controls there so two comfy seats the grab bar, the dash, and yeah, we have our third battery here. Have the EPIRB and the um, fire extinguisher. And this side, we have a uh, toilet if we need it. First aid kit, like a little cab here. Sienna's back in the cab, hanging out. She's sitting on kind of like the double bed setup. Her where she sleeps is up on this little bunk. So she's getting a little big for that, but um, we'll sort that out in due time. We've got two that sleep here, Sienna up there, and me and sort of Hannah alternate back here. We've got a self-inflating mattress that just um, lays through here. With that one, she likes sleeping out under the stars. Creep back in, we've got our 500 watt inverter there. The solar blanket that I throw up top just to charge that um, third battery or the house batteries if they need it haven't had to yet move over here we've got some safety gear some more life jackets charger v-sheet bucket a few bits and pieces in there we have uh, 45 litre um, Dometic I think it is fridge 
runs on the third battery. We have some gas here, we've got spotty, a bit of fishing gear, grab bag, um, that's got a spare reperb, water, uh, another V-sheet, flares, etc. All our blankets, the self-inflating mattress that just sits up here. So this is how it sort of sits when we've finished, finished for the night. A bit more gear back up in there, but I'm not sure. And that's about it for the cab, so we'll move on out. Guys, that's the, uh, the tour done, so we're going to wrap it up. And uh, yeah, call it a night. It's just been an amazing journey. Uh, learned a lot along the way. Heaps to learn still. But um, yeah, fantastic time. Love this country. Love everything about it. And uh, can't wait to see more of it. So thanks again for watching, guys. And we'll see you again real soon. Take it easy.